Hello and welcome to this video tutorial where we will look at how to shade the area between two lines of your line chart. And we will be creating this line chart that we can see on screen at the moment. So there are many reasons why you may want to shade the area between two lines. In this example, I have some planned and actual values, and I want to use it to visualize the difference between them a little bit clearer. So I have these values for the 12 months of the year, and at the moment, if I selected that range and inserted a line graph, then I would get this. Now what we want to do is shade the area between those two lines. So we're going to create two additional rows that will be calculated. One to find what the difference, what the size of the area between the two lines is. And another one as the base to prop it up so that it appears in the right place. So let me delete that chart and let's create our headers. So we have a base and we have the difference. And the base is simply going to be a repeat of the planned value. So I'm going to type equals, reference to planned value, and then just copy that across. So the planned value will appear as a line in our line chart. The base we are going to make disappear, but we're going to use it to lift the difference into place. And this will all become clear. Now for the difference, it's just a quick little formula to find a difference between the actual value and the planned value. So in this case, B3 take away B2. And if I run that, we have no difference for January. But then as we come across the months, we have some negatives and some positives. The negatives where the actuals have dipped below the planned and the positive where it's gone above the planned. Let's now create the line chart. I'll select the entire range, insert line. I'm going to go for the first line and we now have this. It's not great to look at, but we can see that we have the difference. What we need to do though is bring that difference line up to the others and use it for our shading. So to do that, I'm going to right mouse click a line, come into change series chart type, and I'll get this wonderful window where I can change the type of any series in this chart. So it doesn't matter what line I right mouse clicked on. What we want to do here is turn the base and the difference into these stacked areas. So if I choose base, you can see in the preview how that has shaded the area up to the planned value, which is the blue line. I can now do the same to the difference and look at that. The difference is on top of the base, therefore shading the area between those two lines. That's what we want. I can click OK to confirm that. And then we're going to remove the base because I don't want that gray. So I'll click on the base, come up to the format tab, and I'll turn the shape fill to no fill. Now we have this, that looks a lot better. We have our shading. The final steps are just to make a few extra improvements to our line chart. But I'm going to type a better chart title. If I click on that, that is actual versus planned. And I want to get rid of the legend at the bottom. I have this legend, it's doing a good job in respect that it shows actual is the orange line, planned is the blue line but it also tells me the base and the difference. And I don't want those shown. So we're going to delete the legend. I'm not going to show it at all. 
and we're going to use a different technique to show the users which line is actual and which line is planned. To do that, I'm going to click on these data points. We're going to use data labels. If I click on this data point for March, I'm choosing that one because the lines begin to separate at that point. It's kind of the first time that they begin to open up. And this is for the actual line at the moment. When I click on it once, it selects the entire series. If I click on it again, it will select that one individual data point. I'm then coming over to the Add Chart Element button so that I can add in a data label. If I click the arrow on the end, come into More Options so that it opens up on the right hand side in this pane. And I'm ticking the box for series name and getting rid of the value and the leader lines. So coming back to the chart, if I drag this a little bit higher on top of the data point in question, now I can do some formatting to that label. Up to home, let's increase the font size to 12. And what's very important is I want to make the font size the same as the line. So I'm going to choose this orange here. If I wanted to be sure that they are the same, I could now click on the orange line series, come up to format, shape outline, and I'm going to make sure that is the exact same orange. Now I can replicate that process for the planned line. If I click the data point, click it again, over to the chart elements button, Let's open up the data labels options. We need to click in this chart icon to see those settings and it's series name on, value leader lines off. Let's move that away from its position. And I'm also going to make that the same font size and ensure that we're using the same colored font. I'm going to choose this blue here and then it looks the same but I want to be sure, so I'm going to change the format of the other line to be the same blue. I'm also, whilst I'm at it, going to click that shaded area and I'm going to make the fill a slightly lighter yellow. Let's go for that nice light yellow. And here is our completed line chart with a shaded area between two lines. I hope you found this video useful Please subscribe by clicking the button underneath this video and click the bell icon to receive notifications of new videos from Computer Gaga.